Hello YouTube. I know uh, I haven't made a lot of boot posts lately. It's because I haven't bought a lot of boots. I have about 12, 13 pair of Western boots, uh, Lucchese, Black Jacks, and a pair of Tacovas. And I pretty much have everything I need as far as boots go. But I've been waiting for the opportunity to do a kind of assessment of the boots that I wear in high rotation. Uh, and what I mean by that is the boots that I wear every week. The boots you see in front of you, these four pair of boots are my high rotation boots. These are the boots that I wear each one of these boots once or twice a week. And they're worn for 10, 12 hours a day. Uh, and then I have other boots, my rattlesnakes, my American alligators. I have two pair of uh, snakes, American alligators. I got another pair of blackjack caimans that I don't wear that often. And I have uh, a pair of natural hornback caimans. And those are my more dressy boots. Those are the boots that I wear for special occasions, especially the rattlesnakes. The blackjack rattlesnakes I wear, uh, those and those natural caimans is what I wear the most. The blackjack caimans I have, uh, I don't know if you recall that video, but those are a wide, um, not a D. And and while they look pretty good, they they don't look as sexy on the feet as the the D size boots to me on my feet. The, the jeans don't hang over them as well as they do a D size boot, in my opinion. So if I had a choice uh, in a D and a, a W, I would go for the, 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 the D size, the normal size. Now I do my rattlesnakes, my special occasion boots. I've worn these about a dozen times and they still look amazing. Um, they're definitely my go-to boot when I'm, when I'm going out with the wife or something. But these are the ones that I wear to work. And uh, don't be mistaken, I don't do any hard labor type work. I work as in, in an office job, pretty much. But I do walk on gravel and and uh, through the mud and things like that in these boots. They're, they're not just uh, carpet queens. And so you'll see the edges and stuff I have not touched up the edges on these boots since I bought them and uh, but they're still very clean and that's from and they are a little dinged up and it's just from walking on gravel kicking rocks and things like that uh, but I will start with the boots I got first and that's these Lucchese Caymans uh, of these four boots this is the pair that I got first And I've got these boots probably 10, 11 months ago. Now I did right before this video, uh, sprayed these boots down and brushed them off real quick with some scalp. Uh, so they're not just straight out of the closet, but I do brush them off about once a month. And that's all I did before this video is brush these boots off for the video. And you can see that these Lucchese came and still look like brand new boots pretty much. But I wear these at least once a week for the last 10, 11 months. Uh, and they look amazing. So that just goes to show you the craftsmanship of a Lucchese boot. Now I will tell you that every pair of my boots is stored with boot trees uh, and they have the shaft straighteners in them, the, the, the black plastic ones. Uh, these, you can grab them off Amazon. And I, I do believe that those the boot trees and the, and I'll take those out so you can see, uh, even without the boot tree, it's still a very stiff leather boot. Not stiff, but it doesn't lay down. It's not a lazy leather. 
you know what I'm saying? Uh, but every time, every single time I take them off, uh, the boot tree goes in them and the shaft straightener goes in them as well. Uh, but you can see both of these boots are still in amazing shape. Couldn't be happier with those Lucases. They, uh, that came in shines up great. They're super comfortable still. Uh, they're, they're some of my more comfortable boots. The next pair I'm gonna show you is these Lucchese Carls. And these are the, the Sanded Sharks. Um, this is probably my favorite pair of boots to wear. They, I wear these boots all the time. A lot of times these boots are worn three times a week. I'll throw them on on the weekends as well. Uh, this is my go-to boot. And these boots, I've put a lot of miles on. I've worn in the rain, mud, rocks, hiking, walking with the kids. These are the boots that I grab. And you can tell the edges on these are a little bit more dinged up than normal. Uh, excuse me, guys. My little man's in the room and he's knocking over stuff. Get off the bed, buddy. But these are the, if it's raining outside or something's going on, uh, these are the ones I grab because these are extremely durable and they look good. I tell you, I don't know how it's coming across on the camera, but the boots look amazing on the feet. The jeans hang perfectly on this boot. They're very sexy shape to them. Uh, these Lucchese seven toes are outstanding. And these, I don't care what you do to them. Uh, you could brush these things off and they look great again. Whenever I go out and I'm wearing these, uh, I always get compliments on them. A lot of people don't know about the Sanded Sharks, but they are a great boot. And like I, it looks in the looks department, as far as exotic skin goes, obviously they don't compare with the look of a rattlesnake or an alligator as far as flashiness, but my favorite boot to wear is these sharks, hands down. And when I bought these sharks, I think I only paid 550 bucks for them. Uh, so for the price, I would definitely buy another pair of these or recommend these to, to anyone that was thinking about getting them. Uh, these Lucchese sharks are amazing boots. Now these are the uh, Blackjack Pirarukus. These are outstanding looking boots. And you wanna talk about a boot that people don't see that often. There's some ants that look something like this. Uh, but a lot of people don't know what these boots are when I wear them. They have no idea and they ask a lot of questions about them. But these are amazing boots. And you wanna talk about the shape of a boot that looks good. This Blackjack Vito, uh, if you're going through Blackjack, don't be confused with the seven toe by, from Lucchese. If you order a seven toe through Blackjack, it'll be a rounded toe and you won't like it. Uh, theirs is called the Vito. And this Vito is outstanding. And I know a lot of people, uh, when I was doing research on the Piruku, uh before I bought them, a lot of people were concerned about the fragility of the skin, if it was uh, a very fragile skin, something that you were going to mess up. Uh, I can attest to the fact that these are far tougher than I thought they would be. When I first got them, I was kind of baby in the skin when I would brush them off and things like that. They do not need it. Uh, you can you can brush these things just like you would came in or anything else and and they do just fine. As a matter of fact, uh, they seem to like it better. You get in the scales really good, spray them down with the spray, 
brush them off with the brush and then I'll, I'll hit them with a little buffing cloth after that and they look amazing. I didn't even do the buffing, buffing cloth this time. I just uh, sprayed them and brushed them off. Great looking boots. And like I said, I wear these uh, all the time. Uh, I will say that these are not as comfortable as my sharks are. Uh, and probably not quite as comfortable as the uh, Lucchese Caymans. These are very comfortable boots as well. But the Black Jacks, I feel the shape of them, they look better than a Lucchese boot. Uh, they're just a really sharp looking boot. But comfort wise, they don't hurt my feet, but they don't hug my feet as well as, uh, as the Lucchese boot does either. And that is probably less to say about the boot and more to say about the weird shape of my feet. I was a, in the army for a long time and an infantry man for a long time and walked a lot. And my feet is probably uh, mutant shaped at this point. But regardless, these boots make them look good. Uh, and once again, if you can get you, uh, if you have the opportunity to come across some of these blackjack uh, Pirukus. I know I got these from Pinto Ranch. Uh, these are amazing boots. And I'll tell you, uh, a shocker is these Tacovas. Uh, I hear a lot of people that are into Lucases and Black Jacks and other high-end boots. They talk crap about Tacova boots because uh, they're more of a, a hybrid boot. They're not handcrafted completely. They're not as traditionally made as a Lucchese or a blackjack boot is, and so it costs them less money to make them. Uh, and because of that, you think that um, they're gonna be a lesser quality boot. And I have not found that to be the case. I've had these boots, I think eight months now, and I wear these boots at least once a week. Uh, And these are head turning boots. These relics, uh, the color pattern on these are outstanding. Uh, and I didn't think I would like Lizard too much, but I, it, the only reason I bought these is because I love the color scheme, the distressed look of the leather. Uh, I just thought they were amazing looking boots and I was lucky to get a pair. I called a store directly uh, and they happened to have some in the back that weren't even being advertised and she hooked me up. Uh, kind of right place, right time deal. I'll never win the lottery, but I get lucky with stuff like that every now and then. Uh, but these boots are outstanding. Uh, very comfortable. This boot, the, the, the leather on these are very soft uh, and very, very, very comfortable to wear. The break-in period is non-existent. You can pull these boots out of the box and put them on and they are ready to go. Uh, and I thought because the leather was soft and because they were so comfortable that they were not going to stand up to wear and tear uh, as often, but even without the boot trees in them, it still stands up very nicely. Uh, and of course, I, probably in a couple of years, they won't do that, but as long as you take care of them and you uh, use your boot trees and your shaft stiffeners, uh, you'll, I think they'll, they'll last as long as you will. You might have to replace those soles um, fairly often. As you can see, the, the soles on these Tacovas are pretty thin uh, in comparison to the black jacks much thinner. So the black jacks will have to be replaced far less often. Uh, but I think when I do take these to get them resold at some point, I'll have a thicker sole put on them uh, just for the longevity of the boot. But yeah, I'll tell you, uh, For my four boots that are in heavy rotation, they're all in great shape. 
better than I expected. Brush them off and they look like new boots again. Uh, absolutely amazing. So if you're on the fence about getting a pair of these boots and wearing them every day, I would say uh, those fears are not warranted. Uh, these boots are amazing and they stand up to quite the beating. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe and like. Uh, and I'll talk to you guys later.